Perth 10 years ago was very accessible. We have access to the coast, access to a fantastic lifestyle. So Perth 10 years ago, I think uh, you've got to look more globally at what the world was like at that time and social media wasn't around, broadband was a new thing. I think uh, a pint of beer was probably less than $10, but uh, now there's no shortage of places that will charge you more than $10 for a beer. I think between 10 and 16 there's been such significant change in Perth that it's made it a much better place to live. Things like Brookfield Place, the Treasury buildings and in, just in the last couple of days Elizabeth Quay. But the sort of development that's taken place in the city and the sort of attitude that's changed in the people of Perth, I think, to development and infill development has really made it a much better, more exciting, more positive, more progressive place to live. I think another change that is truly palpable across the city is the attitudinal shift. We actually have greater faith and belief in our ability and I think that is really helping us be more confident during the next few years. Yeah, I think we've moved away from a city that shuts down at 5pm and people are, more people are starting to live in the city. Culturally we're all coming together and using our city in a way that we haven't done in the past. Perth GFC is really coming about now is my view, 2015 to 20 might be pretty hard yards for us. I think where we've come from over the last few years we're riding the wave of technology and we have to be able to embrace what the future will bring with technology, understand and grab those opportunities. If we've always got an eye open for opportunities then hopefully we find things to replace what we might lose in other areas. I think we'll continue to see modular construction play an important part for the right projects, the, the use of 3D modelling and building information modelling, which the industry has struggled to come to grips with over uh, the past few years. Computational design, um, automation in uh, manufacturing and uh, translating those from a design environment into, into a built environment is something that's um, really quite exciting primarily the private sector over the next few years because I think that's where the money is going to be a bit more available. Make it as easy as possible for the private sector to invest. That gives us every opportunity to get projects up and running. I think Perth really needs Elizabeth Key's momentum to keep going. I think we need to find ways to get buildings out of the ground at Elizabeth Key. We need to be able to push on with Perth City Link and we need to be able to see the continuation, the progress of our large and exciting projects like the Perth Stadium. Very keen to see the Perth Museum come about and that'll be another exciting part of the city. But what we need to focus on is ensuring we have the right intellectual capacity, the right vision and continue to push forward.